Hello and welcome back to Dubious Engineering. Today we're putting together a solar powered shed. <laughs> yeah, okay, so basically uh, I bought on eBay a little device that allows me to connect my solar panel to all of my lithium ion cells in my wonderful Powerwall stack. And um, this little battery management circuit should stop these cells from overcharging and causing fires and stuff in the shed, which is really what I don't want. Now, some time ago, I put together a lean-to. I call it a shed. It's actually a lean-to shelter. And um, I couldn't afford at the time to buy a full-on shed that had the capacity to be able to fit into it everything that I needed. Um, so whilst I was making this sort of a smart shed, I decided to put together a nice folding table, as you just saw there. And um, I also uh, uh, put some uh, canvas, I guess, uh, uh, little protectors on it so that you can lock it down in the winter. And then when the summer comes along, you can also use these to effectively build yourself uh, a nice little shelter uh, to protect you from the sun. And uh, maybe if you're having a small party in the winter, which occasionally you might do, you can also protect yourself from the rain as well. Anyway, um, in the shed, you'll notice an, um, there's a, uh, a router. Uh, you've probably seen that in use if you've seen some of my other projects that hasn't been in there for very long. Might have to review that in the near future. And um, the key thing really at the moment is just to sort of show you around the shed. There's a solar panel, boom, wonderful piece of kit. Um, and uh, there's the cable for the solar panel. I need to do a bit chopping and sorting stuff out. And there's the folding table and the folding table. And there is the router and the power wall of lovely goodness. Yes, I did run electricity into the shed. So um, it's not completely solar powered at the moment. It does have 240 volts, much of the sign says 415. And that bolt just there, that gives you the ability to lock that table up out of the way. So camera sliding along, ding, 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 and boom, there it is, the lithium ion power wall of wonderful goodness with the missile switch on the front of it. It contains a soldering iron. It contains solder and a little bit of electrical tape. Um, it's one of those sort of go-to type of power walls that uh, is very useful to have kicking around. So it's a 12 volt device, uh, generally speaking. Uh, on the front of it, you'll see they're written max 12.6 volts and minimum 9.3 volts. Again, that's because it's lithium ion. And if you uh, if you leave them to uh, go under power, they, uh, they'll, they'll die. If you go over power, they might explode or die. So here's the cables from the um, solar panel up on top of the roof. I'll probably need to fix that in place a little bit better. But as you can see there, 20 volts DC coming out of that solar panel. And it is a sunny day today. So let's also have a quick look here then at the, um, uh, the short current. So uh, basically, we're just going to have a quick look and see what we're, where we're at. And it's one amp at 20 volts. That's a full 20 watt solar panel, which is actually quite good, really. So just tie a knot in those to stop them from shorting out accidentally. Though I did just do that with a meter. Um, so this is, the, this is the unit that I bought off of eBay. And um, it's a little uh, a, a Chinese PCB. You stuff, um, I think it's anything between sort of 12 and and 36 volts on the input there. And then on the output, you can adjust uh, uh, the, the, the voltage uh, with the little um, blue uh, regulator that uh, is on that PCB. So let's uh, plug our 20 volt supply, uh, solar supply into it. And uh, let's get this thing wired up. And hopefully we should be able to put together a system that doesn't uh, cause these uh, these lithium ion cells to explode. Oops, accidentally um, had it turned on, didn't realize I did. So, you know, what do, 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 screwdrivering stuff together. Um, now, let's see what, yeah, careful Howard, don't, uh, don't put a short across the output. Sorry about the hat getting in the way there. I'm obviously going to have to rethink my um, camera positioning. But the point here is these cells uh, are a maximum of 4.2 volts each. So what we're gonna do is we're going to dial down, so it's three times 4.2 volts, which turns out at 12.6, if my math isn't horribly bad. So I'm gonna go a little bit below that. I'm gonna sort of set it at about sort of 12.5 and a little bit. Um, and then uh, we can see uh, how, how well this, or how efficient this device is. So remember, 20 volts coming in. Uh, let's have a look at drive current coming out of this. Now we've set the voltage to 12.55 uh, volts. 
So uh, with a little bit of luck, uh, we'll be pretty good and we should be at an around an ampage. Yep, there we go, smashing happy days. So we're charging now this unit at 12.5 um, uh, volts at about an amp, uh, which should work out an absolute treat for us. And ultimately what this thing's gonna power are many, many different things in the shed, including lighting, uh, including um, uh, other soldering irons. I might even connect an inverter to it so that I've got uh, 240 volts. Yeah, double thumbs up, Howard. Yeah, nice work. So 14, 15 volts. Obviously, there's a bit of a load on the solar panel now. 14, 15 volts coming out of the solar panel there, going into the unit, into that little module, and the module then pumping an amp at about um, 12, 12.5 volts, uh, limiting at 12.5 volts. Uh, into the lithium ion pack and just a couple of things to note about the lithium ion pack I'll just zoom in here do, 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 do. there it is um, you'll notice that each one of those cells uh, has been actually salvaged from a uh, laptop battery and each one of those cells is individually fused and then uh, there's uh, an idea of some of the lighting and the camera sliding that I'm using up uh, up in the uh, in the ceiling of the uh, of the of the shed. So cool! There we go. Uh, welcome to the solar powered shed. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Enjoy. Subscribe. Comment. Rate. You know all that kind of good stuff. Share it. Whatever. Have fun. Bye bye.